Hey, shalom everyone, that's Amir Tsarfati. I finally landed in Nashville, ahead of our Awaiting His Return conference here on Saturday. But I've got breaking news. Uh, I, I tried to go online on the plane, but it didn't let me, so it got cut off. But um, I'll wait for you guys to come live. Um, come on online, yes, there we go, I can see you. Um, and I, I'm asking you to also share this. Uh, somehow, mainstream media is not even talking about it, okay? So, again, share, push the button share. And I have big, 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 big news, okay? Big news. <clears throat> again, we just had a wonderful conference, uh, two conferences in uh, Dallas. Just landed in Nashville. We'll have another one here this Saturday um, but uh, okay now that I see that you guys are online let me give you the news and I need you to share it now if you're asking me how I'm live on Facebook I'm using someone else's phone through a different account to make it to my own page because Facebook restricted me so watch this so listen to me folks in a in few minutes, Vladimir Putin is, a, is about to give a speech. And not only him, but also his uh, defense minister. And, and, and listen to what I'm about to say, because it's critical, it's important. We're all talking about the war in Ukraine for the last over six months. But you understand that according to the Russians, it's not a war, or at least it's, it has not been a war. It has been what they call limited operation. Limited operation. And therefore, they only use military forces that are already around. They did not draft any um civilians to the military because it was not a war they did not use all of their most sophisticated weapons because it was not a war now over the last few hours two things are happening right now one the two um the two republics that were born on the eve of the invasion to ukraine Donetsk and Lugansk. If you remember, in February, I, I reported that. The two republics, Donetsk and Lugansk, together with uh, um, Zaporzida, Zapor the, 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 the place where the nuclear plant is, they are about to hold a referendum on whether they want to be annexed to Russia. No longer they're going to be independent republics. Now, they are going to be part of Russia. What does that mean? It means that if Ukraine is attacking Russian forces in those territories, that will be attack on Russia itself, not on their republics, which Ukraine, of course, does not recognize. Now, why am I telling you all of this? For two reasons. One, any Russian from the age of 18 to 45 or 50 is now going to be drafted to the military in Russia and be sent to war because there is going to be a war declared soon. The other thing is Russia will finally use its heavy weapon so far it was uh, and i've been trying to tell people you have not even seen yet uh, the uh, because this this was not a war for russia russia saves the nuclear and all the unconventional weapons for a war we might start seeing this one third russia has a pact military pact with belarus which means if Belarus will be attacked, Russia has to come and help. And if Russia is being attacked, Belarus has to come and help. Oh, 
there's no sound. Okay. Okay, I, I hope there is sound. I, I don't see why there isn't. Anyway, um, <clears throat> can you hear me, by the way? I don't know if you can hear me. Um, let me know if you can hear me on the chat. Give me an indication you can hear me. Okay, good. So, basically, basically what we're about to hear is the following thing. A declaration of war, a draft of all of, of uh, people that can fight to the military, a use of unconventional weapon, and other countries will join Russia. This is the most dramatic uh, move since the beginning of the war. And remember, we call it war, the Russians don't call it war. And therefore, we must understand a war is about to be declared. All Russian males from 18 to 45, there's already unverified reports, but this is coming. They will be drafted to the military. And the most important thing is Russia is stepping up its game with different type of weapons and with the help of other countries such as Belarus coming from the Northwest. This is the most dramatic move since the beginning of the war i want you to know that expect a speech from putin he was supposed to speak uh to the nation about 30 minutes ago there is a certain delay he's going to appear on tv with his minister of defense sergey shoigu and you're got, you're about to see something uh, much bigger than what we had before again folks share this a war will be declared by Russia on Ukraine. Again, this is, it, it changes everything over there. Very interesting, bold move on the side of, 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 of Putin. He waited for all the, all of the world leaders to be in New York for the UN Assembly, General Assembly, to do this. And I'm telling you folks, it's gonna get ugly. Share this with as many people as you can. I will keep you updated as much as I can on Telegram. Folks, I don't know why you guys are afraid of Telegram. This is the only place where you are going to get the news. I'm going to show you videos, maps, and all the information there non-stop. Go to download Telegram Messenger, find Amir Tsarfati, my channel, 305, 306,000 and follow. Doesn't cost a dime. You will get unfiltered news at real time. Okay? Do that now. You will stay in you will stay updated all the time. Get telegram and share this message with as many people as you can. Thank you. God bless you. And I'll keep you posted if, if needed. I'm going to uh, go live on video, okay?